2024 is your year, sis. I want you to believe it, know it, and trust it because your elevation is about to be lit. I volume. What's up, Team Energizers? My name is Latoya Jones, and I focus on beauty, lifestyle, and just elevating your life because I have recently lost over 100 pounds, and I know what it feels like to change your whole life in a year. I lost 108 pounds in a year and three months. It was a little more, but I gained a little bit back, but that's neither here nor there. I lost a lot of weight, and I just recently had over 16 pounds of the loose skin removed, and so I am just focusing on now new goals of elevating myself. I have the body I want, I have the life I want, I have the love I want, I have the environment I want, because I made the decision to no longer live in the body I didn't want, the environment I didn't want, the relationship I didn't want. And so my goal is to help you glow up and reinvent yourself. In this video, I'm gonna talk about physical, internal, and lifestyle tips that help me to get to where I wanna be. And I want you to have the career you want. I want you to have the body you want. I want you to have all the things you want in this life. And so I'm gonna share with you how I got there. Number one, I'm gonna talk about physical. I focused on my gut health and I started fasting and I started walking. Physically, I wanted to change how I looked on the outside because I felt like it would make me feel better, and it did. A lot of people say, oh, it doesn't change anything. It changed a lot for me. Now I wear the clothes I like. I, I can look at myself and be happy with how I feel. Number one, what I did to change my physical is I started eating protein. Protein, the first thing you want to do in the morning, you don't want to get up and have a donut. You don't want to get up and have some juice or the Celsius. You want to start your day with protein, whether that be protein chips or protein by meat or vegan protein. That's what you want to do because not only does that, that, did that help me lose weight, it also helped me to restructure the things that were going on in my body. I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a doctor, but I can tell you that I lost over 100 pounds and kept it off almost three years now. And by starting my days with protein, it helped me mentally and it helped me physically. And the second thing I did was I went for a walk. There were mornings when I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, I was frustrated about my weight, I was frustrated about my relationship, I was frustrated about the, just having to go to work, I was frustrated about with things that were, frustrated with things that were just going on in my life and I needed to go for a walk. So protein helped me with that to feel better and going on a walk helped me to release a lot of that negative energy that was built up inside of me. And whenever I finished my walk, whether that was two miles or three miles, I would forget about whatever was making me frustrated and I would just feel better and I would have a better day. I would go walk in nature. Another thing I would say do is when you get up in the morning to go for your walk, listen to music a good song that will hype you up and get you in a good mood. Those are ways that I was able to lose over 108 pounds in a year and three months. Second, the second thing I focus on internally, because I was, I was dealing with a lot. I was blaming a lot of people for the reason I was almost 300 pounds. I was blaming my grandmother, I was blaming my parents, I was blaming people, and so it caused a lot of anger. So sometimes on my walks, I was putting in the action, but I was still angry. And I focused internally, okay, like, yeah, I can blame a lot of people for the reason I was almost 300 pounds. But at the, end of the, at the end of it, now it's up to me to fix it. And so I woke up at 6 a.m., 5 a.m. every single morning, and I would go for a walk. And I would walk for two, three, five miles. And I would focus on the things that I could change and not what I could not change. And so internally, whether that's getting a therapist, listening to music, listening to self-help books, watching YouTube videos to help you, you need to focus internally so that your glow up and your reinvention for 2024 is focused on bettering yourself and not blaming others. And so when I realized that, I was able to lose the weight. I was able to get up every morning. There were mornings when and I, there's even videos on my Instagram where I was angry and I was walking and I was like, I didn't lose five pounds this week and I was mad. But I said, you know what? I'm going to do the work it takes every single day and next week I will lose those five pounds. 
I walked, I ate my protein, I drank a gallon of water every day. I made sure I did the things to get me to where I wanted to go. And I realized that if I didn't do those things that day, it would set me back. So every time I thought about, oh, I didn't, I didn't reach a goal this week, I realized what I didn't do that caused me to set myself back. And I focused on it. I said, tomorrow, I'm going to start doing what I need to do so that my next week will look like I want it to look and it won't look like this angry week this week. And so I focused internally on the things I needed to do so that my next week would look how I wanted to look. Because I, didn't, I did not want to feel this way. I didn't want to be angry like I was that day because I didn't meet my goals. And so I said next week, I'm going to make sure I meet those goals by starting today by drinking my water, eating my protein, walking, and not being angry and blaming others and focusing on next week being exactly what I wanted to look like. And that was how I was able to lose over 100 pounds. Next, lifestyle tips. To have the life I wanted, like the place I live now, the body I want, I started focusing on my lifestyle. You know, sometimes we stay in the same place, we do the same things, and we expect more out of life. You have to take risks, even when you don't have the full picture. I took a risk, and I moved into a place that, is, that cost me way more, than three times more than anything I've ever had, and I was scared. I've been living here for over a year, and I've been able to pay the rent every single month. And it also encouraged me because I'm living in such a, an amazing and beautiful landscaped and manicured environment. Now it's like I see more for myself. I just recently, I recently went to St. Lucia I re, and I'm, I'm seeing more opportunities to make more money. When you stay in the same environment that limits you, you don't see anything more than that. And so your focus is on, let me get this used car for $3,000 that the engine doesn't run well, but it's still a good car. You have to take risks even when you don't see the full picture. That's how you elevate. Sometimes you don't have all the money, you don't have all the things, but you have to believe in yourself and say that I'm gonna work every day, I'm gonna do what I need to do to make the money every day that I need to make so that I can maintain this life. And then when you're in that environment, you see more and it just makes you want more and you start making more money, you start doing more actions, you start believing more and having more hope because you have put yourself, you've taken that risk and you put yourself in that environment that you wasn't sure you could do it, but then when you put yourself there and you see the possibilities of more, you do more and you start believing in yourself more. But it's, if you, if you decide to stay somewhere because that's all you can afford, that's all you're gonna be able to afford for the rest of your life because you're staying there and you're not believing for more. But you take those risks, even when things don't look right, and it's like the universe just opens up the doors for you to have more because you believe more. And so that's what's happening for me. Another way you can kind of change your lifestyle and start just feeling better is when I take a shower, I listen to spa music and I have a dim light in my bathroom that kind of sets the mood. And what that does, it just, it makes you feel better. It makes you sleep better. And when you, when you set the environment, conducive to how you want to feel it just makes the next day even better you wake up better you feel better you want to do more and you want to elevate your life you want to go for that walk you want to eat better foods you just everything you just set it up in a way of how you want your night to go your day to go your mornings to go and so physically I ate my protein I walked and I made sure I drank my water and if I was angry I let it out I listen to good music. I know these seem like simple ways to glow up and reinvent yourself, but it really truly does start with simplicity. It really does. So I hope this video is encouraging for you guys who want to glow up and reinvent yourself for 2024. Take it easy. Don't beat yourself up. Don't worry too much. Don't overthink. Just start by doing the small things and they will turn into bigger pictures and your life will, you'll have everything you've always wanted. But it definitely starts with you, physically, internally, and your lifestyle. And everything else just falls into place. Thank y'all for listening, Team Energizers. I hope you're still fasting, and I hope you're still seeing the results you want. Check out my other videos if you want to learn more about fasting and my journey of weight loss. I'll see you in the next video. I love you.